I think what you need is a propagandist. To start moving political opinion. But I think when we think of propaganda... video that came out of Shanghai Disney Gym where they had to suspend operations to comply with the prevention measures, but literally kept people in the park until they came back with a negative test. Just astounding. Well, was it three tests is, over 24 yeah, hours tests, or something? Yeah, well, because you get it. I mean, look, I, was, had, I had PCR test with someone at 10, and they gave it to me by five, so I don't think that's wrong. Let's just go back over. I mean, I think cheap propagandists, let, let me, you know, I call that person a dissembler, so to speak. But, I mean, they need it. They have a narrative which just says basically you can, you can conquer uh, COVID by just being locked down. And this has to change the narrative to being, you know what, you know what's even better? Our homegrown mRNA, which I am told is simply that they managed to get the intellectual property, stole it, which is good. Because when I say good, because it's better to have mRNA than not. Let's just say they appropriate it. And, and they got to deal with, what do you do if you told people the way to beat this is no vaccine? Perfect. And now you have a vaccine. So I think what you need is a propagandist. Outside of the state infrastructure. Exactly. To start moving political opinion. But I think when we think of propaganda, we think about other regimes that we didn't really appreciate. <laughs> You're like silent. I am silent. I'm just thinking about those poor people stuck at Disney, Shanghai Disney for... It's a, I mean, it's the worst places to be stuck, yeah, but still. Chief, yeah. It's a real small world after all. Last year, $9.5 billion, now less than $1 billion. Okay, let me say this about this. I made a mistake here. I was wrong. I trusted this management team. That was ill-advised. Hubris here is extraordinary. And I apologize. Okay. Um, what did you get wrong? I had a, a belief that there was a recognition that there is a amount that you can't spend. I had thought there would be an understanding that you just can't spend and spend right through your free cash flow, uh, that there had to be some level of discipline. What did I get wrong? I, I trusted them, not myself. For that, I regret. Okay. I've been in this business for 40 years, and I did a bad job. I'm Look, not proud. You're not, not alone. Proud. You're not alone, Jim. Daily Caller Patriots have access to thousands of exclusive articles and interviews, including with such great people as Tucker Carlson, Megyn Kelly, Candace Owens, Donald Trump Jr. It's time to ditch the corporate narratives and the media spin. You deserve so much better. Become a Daily Caller Patriot today.